Frustration, anger, and confusion. Those were some of the emotions riders felt today after being stranded for hours waiting for a bus. Good afternoon. I'm Chad Tucker. And I'm Natalie Wilson. Drivers from the Greensboro Transit Agency walked out this morning, leaving dozens of buses parked and passengers wondering how they were going to get to work, to school, and to appointments. Bus routes started up again around 1130, but people are still concerned that this could happen again. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims joins us live from the depot in downtown Greensboro. Aaliyah, you learned from talking to regular riders that some were out there as early as 630 this morning. And Natalie, that was the biggest concern from the riders. They say they walk long distances to get here to the depot, but only to be left here stranded with no heads up. Now, we do want to point out that GTA employees, they are not employed with the city, but the spokesperson from the city did tell us this morning that the buses wouldn't be running because of a lack of drivers. Now, while riders are excited to be back up on the buses again, they say they want answers as to exactly what happened here and what can be done to prevent it from happening again. Darnell Bryant can breathe a little easier Tuesday afternoon. He, along with dozens of others, waited nearly six hours at the Greensboro Transit Agency Depot in downtown Greensboro to get a ride to work. No heads up. It worries me a lot. None of the buses moving. It's like a stick up out here. And nothing was moving. When he got here around six o'clock Tuesday morning, he saw buses parked and drivers in neon green vests standing around. He later learned the drivers planned to walk out. Something Brian says hits his wallet. It's all money. It's like if I would have went in right now, I did, you, you do the math, right? $13, $14 an hour. And it was like, I was supposed to be at work at, at 6 30. And then I don't even know what time it is now. Add that up. Every penny counts. Around 1130, the first bus pulled out of the depot. We rode along with Brian as he got into bus 11 around noon Tuesday. What about, man? As far as we not running? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just start getting on. It's my first trip out for the day. As we were into our seven minute ride. Yeah, that's my bus call. Hey, I'm on a bus right now, boss. I'll be there in about, about three minutes. Oh, they back yeah, they finally got back running. Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn released this statement saying, a walkout is unacceptable. People depend on the bus system to get to work, and some students depend on the bus system to get to school. Bryant now worries and second guesses riding the public buses, fearing that a walkout could happen again, leaving him without transportation. On my last break, I got to do squats. I, I don't know. I'm, I might have to walk. Now, some riders say they plan to take this issue to city council. Now, we heard from some people out here that the walkout had something to do with workers wanting better benefits. We're still working to confirm that. But again, we want to stress that the GTA workers are not employed with the city. Live in Greensboro. Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News. Aaliyah, right, thank you for that up-close look at the situation. Well, by the way, the Greensboro Transit Agency serves about 260,000 people. It runs 19 routes seven days a week with more than 1,000 bus stops in Greensboro. GTA also has one route that goes outside the city limits to provide transportation to and from Guilford Technical Community College in Jamestown.